Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, I'm going to give a little more details about um, this um, out of a cycle update which is mandatory. Why? Because it's a security update and also <clears throat> kind of address a couple of comments that I've seen that are not right exactly. Um, so I've posted a video. There's a very important security update um, that is actually fixing something that was discovered earlier last week. <clears throat> it's uh, been named Print Nightmare. And it has to do with the print spooler within Windows. Now, I want to address the first thing that some people are saying. Well, I'm going to pause this update because, you know, I don't want to want to make sure it doesn't break my computer. This update, you should not pause. It is a very important flaw, and you don't need to have a printer for this to actually uh, be a problem. Um, a lot of people have the impression that, well, I don't have a printer. I don't know why this is a problem for me, because the print spooler is always running, even when you don't use a printer. And the print spooler actually has several different things that it can do. It can actually save to file. It's part of all the services of this print spooler. So that service within Windows, which is meant for printing, is uh, has a severe flaw that is called a zero day because it was discovered. Um, you know, it, it it was discovered and already exploited in the wild. It is easy to exploit to anybody out there that is on the internet and that wants to do so on Windows machines. All you need is the just the right script on a web page and here you go and it actually exploits the flaw and you can actually execute whatever you want and do what you want within an operating system of Windows. So this um, is important to uh, apply even if you don't have a printer and it is something that is not totally fixed with the update that was released. Why? Because they still haven't had the full time to update and fix everything with this problem. What they've done, first of all, the first idea, the first thing that they wanted to do uh, to mitigate last week was if you don't have a printer, turn off print spooler and, um, until there's a fix. Of course, anybody that had a printer, that's another story. You need to print. You need to have the print spooler working. So they told, you know, be careful. As for the uh, update now, this, what it does is at least mitigates and makes it difficult to exploit it from the internet. So that's the fix that we have. It doesn't um, fix it totally because somebody that would have the proper code but have access to the computer would now be able to exploit this flaw. So this is the problem. Uh, that is left. But that's, you know, a small problem. If you're at home and you're alone using your PC, chances of that happening are pretty small. But do remember one thing. When malware comes, often it doesn't come alone. It happens very often that one package exploits a flaw and then it actually downloads another package that exploits another flaw. So you got to understand that if you would have malware on your PC, they have access to your PC. It's like if somebody would be there in your home. So that's something to also understand. So apply this update. It's extremely important to do so. Uh, it will make sure that you stay safe in Windows. And you'll be okay from uh, now on. And there probably will be a complete fix on Patch Tuesday of next week. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.